Welcome to the Nacolas Workshop. I'm Paul. Um, in today's video, we're going to have a look at the um, the base I've selected to fit the uh, Unimat um, SL lathe onto. Um, you can run them freestanding, but I just would prefer to have uh, it on a base, and um, I'll explain to you why. So here's the um, here's the Unimat. Uh, that's the the main base, and if you've been following along, you've seen the story of all that being painted. Now on my one um, I've got the the auto feed so they will fit under there when we reassemble it and that one goes under there. Okay um, so that'll be something like, like that. Uh, obviously we're leveled up to put it in the middle. Now one of the reasons I've gone for a metal base rather than a wooden one is because um, really down to uh, seeing Rob at the uh, Xanadu channel and he, he's got a nice little playlist where he restored his um, good Sherline, a, a small Sherline name. And one of the things he did is he put it onto a base, onto a wooden base, but one of the problems he had was then he couldn't use a... Um, a magnetic sort of uh, dial holder so the theory and he he added a, a strip of metal so he could do that so I've just gone straight for the metal so this is one of the reasons so obviously when I switch the magnet on that can fit anywhere around around the um, the lathe to do whatever I need to do so that was one thing that I thought would be important if we're trying to set things up um, the other, um, the other thing I've got in mind is that um, I would like to, um, I, as you know, I've got a, a second Unimat and I, I've created a bit of space there. Now, I don't plan to actually have two on, but what I would like to do is effectively just have this element here so then I can put the uh, the milling attachment and actually have it coming this way rather than use this one. Now clearly I'm not going to saw that off because I'd be a bit crazy. So what we're going to do is we're going to make one of these uh, another day um, and then we'll secure that to there. <clears throat> and then that should give me... Um, I could, I'll have the movement well, it will just be the same as here. I'll have the movement of the of the table back and forth and in and out. Um, so that should work quite well. Now, this is a sort of a phase one idea. Um, there's a chap I've been sort of marvelling at his stuff on eBay, but it's extremely expensive. And with all these machines, I could make them myself. But what he's uh, he's done... He's created effectively something very similar. He's got the two, two, well, what we've been calling the ways. Um, and then he has this part that's movable along it. And then, so that means he can move his whole milling head along back and forward. Now, I'm not sure how sturdy that is. It does look quite good what he's done. Um, so I'm going to investigate that a bit further but that's some time in the future my main goal is just to get this lathe running so we can um, use it for the uh, the clock making project um, so the other the other advantage I thought with um, having it made of steel would be allow would allow me to uh, effectively try different things and if I mess it up I can just you know tap the hole you know if I've got a hole here that's half in the way I can tap it put a put a um, a blank in there effectively and then it, it, it can be reused I know you could technically do that in wood but I don't have those skills so um, so that's why we're staying away from wood um, so yeah this is really um, the first step so what I'm gonna do um, once I've turned the camera off I'm going to give this a coat, coat of uh, uh, red lead um, just to stop any chance of it rusting. It, I'm not worried about 
how lovely I'm not trying to make it pretty I'm just trying to make it functional um, and then we're over over time with this SL where we move things around we build the the milling um, element there uh, and we just sort of keep jigging it around till we find some something that works really well um, once we've got there if I feel there's a need to get a because this is only six mil um, I think it'll be fine but if I feel the need to get um, something a bit thicker then I will um, but I, I just didn't want to invest some money in it at the moment um, the, and the other thing is I may actually sit the metal on top of of uh, some sort of wooden base thus allowing it a little bit easier to pick up and move around um, yeah yeah so that's really it so my um my plan for um this week well, not the whole week today i'm going to paint this up um and then uh, during the week get all the holes drilled and get this so i can fit this to to it and then we can start all the uh, the reassembling of it and and get this into uh action with a bit of luck it should uh come together pretty quick because all the parts uh all cleaned up and we're all ready to rock and roll um yeah so that's about it for today um so as always uh, stay happy strong and healthy and uh thanks for watching cheerio